Okay, and I see the dollar tip from from oh it doesn't say. Oh, the scrub. The scrub says I've only recently discovered your streams. I watched some old Evo finals. I'm curious if you thought about putting playthroughs in a playlist based on genre. There's a lot of videos on your channel. It would make it easier to navigate your playthroughs. Based on a genre? Oh man, how would that work? The thing is, my my play my playlists are based on video game playthroughs. And every once in a while there's something a little different, like DSP tries it or something like that. How exactly would I do a playlist of a genre? That I would need some explanation or elaboration if you could. If you have an idea how that would work. A few moments later. So, I received a dollar tip from, uh, it says, I meant like RPG fighting games, first person shooter, etc. type of genre. I tried looking for some of your Street Fighter V gameplay on YouTube. It came up with a bunch of different channels and edits. I don't know. Um, what you should do, I believe, and I don't know if this still works. You know what? We could do a live test of this. So let's go to, hold on. I'm going to test this right now. So we're going to go to YouTube.com. DSP Gaming. Okay. Or at DSP Gaming, both work. The direct address of DSP Gaming or the at DSP Gaming, both work. So now I'm here. I'm not I'm not logged in as DSP Gaming. I go to playlists. So here and here on playlist, you hit search. There is a search function, and we'll search for Street Fighter Five. I spelled fighter wrong. Boy, that's pretty dumb. And we hit return. Street Fighter V, first online gameplay. Street Fighter V in the lab with Alex. Street Fighter V, Laura's story mode, holy underboobs. Street Fighter V in the lab with Balrog. Street Fighter V, Ryu survival mode run. Rageathon 2020, Street Fighter V still sucks. Street Fighter V, Ryu story mode playthrough. Street Fighter V, Birdie story mode. Street Fighter V, Trials gameplay, Laura. Street Fighter V, Zengi story mode. Street Fighter V, DLC in the lab with Yurian. Street Fighter V, Sakat ranked match gameplay. 3.5 hours of fights. Street Fighter V DLC, Jury in the Lab. Street Fighter V, Vegas Story Mode. Street Fighter V, Beta Phase 2. Can Online Gameplay, Woo. Street Fighter V, should I keep going? Street Fighter V, Trials, Gameplay Ryu. Street Fighter V, Dalsim Story Mode. Street Fighter V, Nash Story Mode. Ken Story Mode, Alex Story Mode. Trials Gameplay with Chun-Li, Nikali Story Mode. Chun-Li Story Mode. I keep going. So the point I'm making here is YouTube actually has a lot of interesting and robust ways to find content. No one knows them. Do you want to know why no one knows them? Because YouTube doesn't actually tell you anything. YouTube adds features, changes things, and never fucking talks about it. So no one knows it exists. So if you ever... I, DSP Gaming's been around since 2010, okay? 12 plus years of content that has been put out on DSP Gaming. If you think... It's too hard to find. Do not go to YouTube search. No one literally, unless, if you know the channel where the content you're looking for, never go to YouTube search. You're wasting your time, okay? You go directly to the channel. On that channel, go to the playlists tab, and then there's a search function to the right. Type it in there. You will immediately find everything you want. That is the best way to find content on YouTube. The problem is, people just go to the general search, and type in Street Fighter V DSP and you will find 400 unrelated videos. In fact, I'll do that right now. Ready? Street Fighter V DSP. That's what I just typed in. Ready? Great holiday gift ideas for everyone. Then we get the Rageathon. Then we get this is how you don't play Street Fighter V. This is how you don't play Street Fighter V. DSP returns to Street Fighter V. DSP has a meltdown on Street Fighter V. This is how you don't play Street Fighter V. Th Phil gets 13 and owed by NYG Chris in Street Fighter VI. It's not even the same game. It's not even the right game. <laughs> the Euro Goji Tanks. This is how you don't play Virtua Fighter V. It's not even the right series. So that's what you get if you use YouTube search. Do you want to know why? Because YouTube search is toxic shit. It basically focuses on things that are that are viral or things that for some odd reason 
have, oh, you know, get caught. It doesn't make any sense. My actual gameplay of Street Fighter V outside of the 2020 return doesn't show up until you're more than half a page down. And then you finally get Street Fighter V the return in 2018 gameplay. Right? Here's one. Ranch, Street Fighter V is a bad game. The pro FGC are dishonest. That was from six plus years ago. Right? So there you go. It's just ridiculous. Um how absolutely dumb this stuff is when you boy everyone is stupid except me you're looking at it you're like what the hell right you're looking at it, what is all this is junk you don't want that junk but that's what youtube does because youtube is shit so don't ever use youtube search if you know where your content is that you're looking for just go to the channel and search for it there you can go to the videos tab and search or you can go to the playlist tab and search there. Then it just searches that channel. And immediately you'll find the content you're looking for. So that's my recommendation. I know a lot of people, you know, don't know that. And you just YouTube search is so bad. It really is so, so bad. Don't waste time with it, okay? Okay. I hope that helps. Because I know a lot of people out there probably wonder about that. Like, man, Phil, I want to watch your content, but I can never find it. Well, it's because YouTube general search is, is a toxic wasteland of duty. It really is. It's just trash. Absolutely no one needs it. It doesn't serve any purpose. You should absolutely be going to the channels you like and search there. A few moments later. No, Last Frontier. Incorrect. He says, doesn't that mean YouTube search works because it finds the most popular things? Wrong. I said, DSP Street Fighter V. Then I proceeded to read you 20 things that had absolutely nothing to do with me playing Street Fighter V, including... Virtua Fighter, Street Fighter 6, it's not even related. YouTube search is trash because it's based off of viral popularity and their algorithm to make things virally popular rather than the quality of what you're searching for. If you have specific terms you're looking for, it should find those terms first. I have literally a hundred playlists of Street Fighter 5 content, yet it doesn't find any of them. It doesn't make any sense. It really makes no sense. And if YouTube actually had a, a search functionality that worked properly based off what you want, rather than what YouTube wants you to see, it would be a much different site. It would be a way less toxic site. The problem is, sadly, YouTube just, you know, runs the way it does to push their own their own narrative of content. It's really shit. A few moments later. Flying Dutchman, I don't feel like I'm getting goaded. This is just general discussion and stuff. There's nothing wrong with this. It's true. YouTube search is terrible. Absolutely, YouTube search is atrociously bad. It always has been. By the way, it's a while I'm ambushed now. A few moments later. Completely wrong, Chipmunk Gang. Boy, you guys... Some people are just like fanboys of YouTube, I feel, with the dumb shit they say. Chipmunk Gang says, oh, it just takes the word you input. And it tries to give you the best possible results that line up with the words. I said, Street Fighter V DSP. And it gave me, Virtual Fighter V DSP, this is how you don't play the game. Before it gave me literally all of my videos and playlists that are, say, DSP Street Fighter V. Like, how do you not understand what I'm saying? You have to be an idiot. That The, the sad fact is that YouTube just doesn't have a good search. They're trying to goad you to look towards a certain style of content that they want you to look at that they feel is virally popular and or will make them more ad revenue. That's all it is. It has nothing to do with the quality of the content or even the validity of your search. It's whatever benefits them best is what you're going to see first. And it's sad because it means that essentially you're not going to get the best matches and the best content when you're looking for stuff on YouTube. Alright, we're going to have a few level up. Nope, just Chopper. Just Chopper levels up. Okay. Yep. So anyway, again, to reiterate, if you like my content, search for it on my channel. Don't even bother using YouTube's general search. It doesn't work. It hasn't worked in so many years. Ever since the toxic This Is How You Don't Play videos started getting put on YouTube, that just overtakes everything because they use all the virally popular techniques. They use the clickbait thumbnail, right? Are you sure about the that? Title. They fucking all defamation and nonsense inside. That's what YouTube pushes forward. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I, that's essentially the problem with YouTube. And they don't care about it either. As long as they're making money, they don't give a crap who gets hurt. It's always been like that. So, okay, so we're going after the bird, which went this way.
A few moments later. Chef D says, I know you said this, it's because YouTube doesn't have any competition, so they just use AI algorithms and there's nothing that's any better out there to compete. You can't control it, keep on keeping on. Exactly right. All you can do is pass on information to the audience of how to do it properly and how to avoid the nonsense, you know? I, I literally, I would never use YouTube Send General's down. chat unless I don't know the name of a content creator I like and just in general looking for something. But that general yeah, chat search is so are. bad, it's literally a waste of your time. Like, they don't, YouTube does not respect your time at all, okay? They'll have you watch 20 shitty videos before they have you watch one good one. Why? Because then you watch 20 they shitty videos and you paid them out of it. You see? They don't care. Um, but all I can do is try to pass along the proper information so that people know what's going on and will watch better content. You know what I mean? Nice combo. Here we go. Nice. Bonus experience. Bronze bat soup. Bronze. Okay. Now Elder Wing's saying, well, it's because you didn't search for DSP Gaming. Most people know me as DSP. They don't know me as DSP Gaming. They know the channel is DSP Gaming. Right? That's what I said. If you want to do anything on YouTube, you have to know the full channel name. You can't even just know a moniker or anything or even a nickname. You have to know, like, the full data. Right? Even even so, even so on that, I would bet. I'll give it a shot. I would bet that it's still not going to be great. So you click on YouTube here. And you click on, what did I say? Street Fighter 5 DSP Gaming. Right? Street Fighter 5 DSP Gaming. For some reason, it didn't even type right. Hold on. My keyboard sucks, by the way. Stupid wireless keyboard. Street Fighter 5 DSP Gaming. Okay. Great holiday gift ideas for everyone. Okay. rage -thon from 2020. Street Fighter 5 The Return. Street Fighter 5 First Online Gameplay. Okay. So I got three... An ad... That has nothing to do with me. Three pieces of my real gameplay. And then, this is how you don't play Street Fighter V. The year of Goji Tanks. This is how you don't play Street Fighter V. So, okay. By actually typing in the real channel name rather than DSP, you get maybe two more search results that are mine. And then it goes right back to the toxic bullshit content. So there you go. Sorry, but you you actually failed there. Uh, what was it? Elder Wings? Sorry about that, but you are incorrect. Why am I poisoned? Why am I toxic? What?